Hi, in this video I'll show you how you can use DVW Analytics SAP Connector to bring data directly from your SAP transaction codes or reports into workflows on the Nine platform. So let's start in the SAP GUI with a transaction that we can replicate over in Nine. We're going to use FBL 3N and I'm going to use a variant that I've saved already which obviously is a, a list of saved parameters to run the report. You can see them here and if we run the report we get a standard SAP output. It has multiple small tables if you like for each combination of GL and company code. Now as an output in SAP this is perfectly okay but obviously downstream in analytics it's not much use with all these small tables. So let's see what we can do with the KCS, the NIME connector for SAP, in the NIME platform. This is a plugin or extension provided by DVW Analytics. And as you see, when we configure the SAP executor, we can connect to multiple SAP systems in a variety of ways. So this is the configuration window, and I can choose a variety of different methods, including accessing tables, BW data, spools, etc., etc. But we're obviously going to concentrate on T code extraction or ABAP reports. We can choose the system that we wish to connect to. So I'm going to use one of my ECC systems, and you can see that my username and password has been retained, encrypted, of course. We can use SSO here, please note, and I can then ping that system system to confirm that I've connected successfully to it. I'm now going to move over to the parameters tab and you can see here that I can add in a transaction code or a report. I'm going to use transaction code. It's the one I used earlier of course. And that search looks in the SAP system and retrieves both the report name and the initial parameter screen for that report. I can edit that of course manually by entering values, say for company code or for GL, etc. But in this case, I'm going to use one of the variants which the call also retrieved back from the SAP system. So you can see here the list that was retrieved and I'm going to choose the one as I did over on the SAP GUI. And when I go to the data preview tab, I can now run that T code with that variant and the raw preview gives us back those results exactly as we saw them in the GUI. Now we could use this data as it stands downstream in our Nine workflow, but the tool has functionality to enhance and transform the data. So for instance, if we right click on account and company code, we can add these headers as columns in the table below. We can also identify the header row for the table and we can see that is captured. And when we press raw preview, the system identifies those rows using the color coding as shown. Finally, we can look to ignore some rows. So this row of dashes, for instance, if we right click, we can ignore. And I'm also going to remove the totals rows because then we can calculate those later, of course. But now we can see in our table that those two configurations have been captured, but the one for the total rows isn't quite right. But that's not a problem as we can manually maintain these. So we just click edit and put in the configuration we want, which is pipe space space star and that's anywhere in the first four characters and that captures the total rows for us. If we rerun the raw preview, now those ignored rows are painted in gray and we just have our table and our headers left in the configuration and that's repeated everywhere where that pattern is seen below. Now all we need to do is look at the preview and we can see it's much more consumable now in terms of analytics. We have our GL and company code in the columns. All those extras have been cleansed out and we're ready to consume that within Nime. So we can switch back to Nime now to run that node. When we do that, the configuration will run the T code as we've configured, selecting data as per our variant and applying all those cleansing configurations that we set up in the configuration window. Once it's run, we can view in Nime the data output configured exactly as we wish columns with GL and company code and no additional lines that we don't really need for analytics. We can add of course um, a report now or anything we like downstream. We can build our workflow from this. This is just the start of the data of course. So if I add in a little chart then that's easy to do and we can use that SAP data to build very quickly an output for our analytics. So you can see just how quickly you can get SAP T code data within the Nine platform ready for your analytics using the DVW Nime connector for SAP. I hope this video was interesting and if you'd like to see more please visit our website that's dvwanalytics.com.